The Auditor General, in a special audit of the 10 billion shillings under the Presidential Initiative on Market Vendors and Small Business Operators, revealed that the money did not reach the intended beneficiaries but was swindled by individuals. The Watchdog Public Accounts Committee today grilled leaders of Nakawa Market on the whereabouts of 347 million shillings allegedly received from the Microfinance Support Center in 2011. Diamoki, convene a meeting in our market and uh, breach the gops for free money, yes. which will be coming from presidential office. We did not apply for that money. The chairman of Nakawa Market, Edward Kasule, claimed that a man by the name of Joseph Okello of Microfinance Support Center deposited the 347 million shillings, but later returned it to demand for more money to pay off allowances for his staff. Let us make the check, sign it. When we reached there in the bank office, the money was in a sack. Ah, then we all said, hey, <laughs> who is going to carry this money? The money was in the sack? Hey, in a sack. Now each one's look at each other, we are carrying bags, <coughs> honey bags. Hey. So she also asked me, what do we do? Then I said, now, instead of us looking to die with this money, let's call these very people, so that if we are short, they also die in the same vehicle. <laughs> so she accepted, I came out and called Okino okay, no, that ah, this money we cannot carry. That what is wrong with it? That is too big, it's in a sack. That a sack? Then he came. When he came, he also entered and sold and said, eh? You take it upon yourself to claim to have paid people who are not even known to the circle? But after a thorough cross-examination by the MPs, the Nakawa market leaders began accusing each other of allegedly conniving with Okello to swindle the money. Would you be surprised if Okello turned up today here in this room and said he never took the money? I'm talking the truth. I'm an old woman. I'm baptized. Jane, you are here. You have the picture in your mind. We never bought it, any vehicle, even a motorcycle. We just walked. Joseph came and picked the money. And from here you wonder when you said that that money was in a bag. Mr. Kato, who can you it arrange in, a female police officer? Bag? Get a female police officer on standby. We never discuss anything concerning selling. Even I don't know how those people get their selling. So I, I came to learn that Jay, my manager, acting manager, collided with those people, the Okero, to make accountability. For me, I've been the money since. Ah, uh -uh, do you have anything to say? This prompted committee members to hand over Jen Abuti and Edward Kasule to the CID police at Parliament for further interrogation. Head of the CID Park, to take this lady in front of us, Jane. Meanwhile, Nakaseke County South MP Edward Sempalampuga has been cited in the mismanagement of 180 million shillings, also meant for GABA market vendors. That time I was transacting business with Mr. Honorable Sempalampuga, who is a member of parliament now. Who? Oh? Honorable Sempalampuga. But when contacted, Mbuga declined to comment. The committee has resolved to summon Mbuga to answer for his alleged involvement.